Hello everybody, Illumini here. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the Tobikodachi quest. Now, I will say, I actually do like fighting Tobikodachi a lot, just because he proves to be a bit of a challenge, and especially he is a bit of a knowledge check for Gunlance in regards to how well can you keep up a uh, trip lock going. Because the thing with Toby is that once he gets going, he is a little bit hard to catch up with, and I'll say that the beginning is where Gunland struggles the most, just keeping them down and getting that first down to begin your actual run. Now that being said, I will say that in regards to the Worm Cannon thingamajiggy placement, I will say that unlike the video that you're going to see here where I accidentally placed it at the front legs, I would argue that the optimal position is actually his back legs. Mainly because um, you're going to want to be hitting the tail more often than not. And in doing so, by having the explosions trigger at the back legs, you can activate the trip lock while you're doing optimal amounts of damage uh, to the tail. Now, the other thing to note about if you're going to be running him in the wilds, or not wild spire, in the ancient forest, is that you do have to watch out for the. Uh, paralysis frogs and not only that but every once in a while there's actually a bit of a small chance for an additional flash fly to spawn in the area so that's just another thing that you gotta look out for which makes TAing this guy a little bit of a nuisance but there are some map advantages to running this guy on this area and I think the biggest one for sure is whenever he has to start hopping on the trees since the trees are at a relatively close spot from one another, he doesn't have to go as far to go from, uh, I guess, pillar to pillar. So it makes it kind of easy to catch up. Which also kind of brings me to another point about his moveset. If you see him climbing on a tree, it's going to be very context based on whether or not it's a free opening or not. If he's not charged up, he's just going to attack you immediately. If he is charged up, then he's going to be uh, sitting on the tree for a little bit. And especially if you've broken his tail, he's going to be struggling a little bit to stay on the tree. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And go ahead and feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.